again, this is going to be a quick update of my 100 Colourful Empties uh, project that I'm kind of doing in collab with uh, Hayley, I will leave her link down below, on Instagram and Lena, and there are a few other people, um, Lena's also called Jess, again I'll leave her link down below, can't remember the numbers on her name at the moment, hang on a second, uh, Lena7623 and Hayley0614, Lena's here on f YouTube, Hayley's on Instagram, Hayley was the one who came up with this, um, there are a few other people doing it, if I can find out or remember who they are, I'll leave them linked down below as well. Um, um, this is the first update I've done for this one, um, I was going to do one last month and then I didn't do it. Um, so there were... Uh, 10 categories of colours and we had 10 products in each of them. I'm not going to go through every single product because I haven't used every single product. Um, I've kind of got so much project stuff going on at the moment that I am kind of only using certain ones. So I will just go through the ones that I have actually been using and that I can show some sort of progress on. Um, I have completed a couple of items um, what I will actually do though is I'm going to go through by colour and when I get to those particular items then I'll show those then because um, it's something like three or four which um, in terms of odds of actually getting this done a hundred things done by the end of the year it's not looking so good <laughs> but anyway so um, I have a limited amount of time I have to go and pick my daughter up from school so I'm just going to get on with this so in the red category, the things I have used are nail polish. Um, so I forgot to draw a line on this when I started and I remembered after I'd used it a couple of times um, and I haven't drawn my new line on it but anyway, um, that's pretty much the same for all of the products. Some products I forgot to actually draw a line on and I've used them. Anyway, so this first one is Snap Happy from Essie. That's what it looks like. I decided to do swatches for you. It's actually underneath where that dark line is. It's like down about there. I've used this one a few times. The next one in the red category is also a nail polish. This is Ali's Big Break. Which is this one here. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell where this one is, quite frankly. But I know I've actually used it because I actually marked on here when I had actually used products. So that's it for the red category. That's all I've used from the red category. In the yellow category, we have the Ombra uh, Daily Defense Moisturizer. This is a Lacura brand. Um, I did have a line on this and it was way up here somewhere. I'm actually down there. So I have made fairly good progress because I'm pretty sure it was up here when I started. So I use this almost every single day. Um, so this one won't be too much longer. Uh, the other one is I've started using it. It's not my favourite serum and it's gone kind of weird. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish this one. This is the Lacura Skin Science Twin Phase Vita Serum. I have two of these in the project. I've actually, um, this is like the one that I've been using, and it's one of those ones you try, it's supposed to shake, and so I've like shake, shake, shake the heck out of it, and then it looks like that. Um, that is really, really hard to get it out of the thing. Only a little bit at a time comes out, so it's quite small hole. So this has taken me way longer than I thought it was going to take me to actually use it up. But I have been using that one. Uh, the next one is the Nooks uh, Dry Oil. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I was, but I have actually used this a couple of times. So, yeah, just don't know where it is. The next one is Orly Glow Stick. Um... That line was the line I put on after I'd used it a couple of times. It hasn't really moved too much. It makes my camera freak out because it is a neon yellow. But 
This one I have used a few times. Um, and that is it for the yellow category. In the orange category, we have the Natio Nail Polish in Sunflower. I've used this a couple of times. That line was after I'd used it a couple of times. Uh, yeah. um, the other one is from OPI. This is Rising Star. Um, I've used it maybe once. It's really hard to see where it actually is. Um, oh, I forgot to show you. That one there is Sunflower, right there. My camera will focus. That's Sunflower. That is Glow Stick right there. And that is Rising Star. Uh, the next one is the Nails Ink Top Coat. I have actually, this was completely full, I have actually used it a couple of times um, to try and do things like uh, decals and stuff like that. It's not my favourite for that particular purpose. So that is the orange category. In the green category, um, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I've used this several times. It is still going fine. Um, if you haven't seen the CoverGirl Clump Crusher wand, it's a weird kind of bent wand, but I like it. Um, I think, oh, and Revlon Moss Nail Polish. I think I've used this like once, if that. It's not my favourite colour. <laughs> Another reason to use it up. There's everything in the green category that I have used. In the blue category, we have... I have th three of these Lacura Oxy serums in. I have used one of them up. So that is, that is actually a product I've actually used. <laughs> well, one of the products. The next one is... The Germain de Cappuccini Hydra Cure. I have four samples of this. I've used two of these samples. Holy shit, this stuff is good. Like, this stuff is the bomb diggity. I absolutely love this shit. Unfortunately, it's like $99 for 50ml of this stuff. But it is so, so good. I, I, I seriously, if I had no other moisturizers and nothing, I would spend the $99 to buy this stuff. That's how good it is. Seriously, best moisturizer I've ever used. The next one is the Physio Gel Daily Moisturizer Therapy for very dry, sensitive skin. I have two of these in the project. Um, they are both counted separately. This one... I've started using this after I've had a shower. It's a bit hard to see through, but it's, I think it's down, down there somewhere. It's, and it's quite nice. It's quite thick. Um, you don't need to use a whole lot. I tend to only do it on, like, my belly and my legs. Don't ask me why. That's just where I put cream. I don't put it anywhere else. <laughs> the blue categories had more action than any of the other categories. Because we also have... Um, all these Angel Rain nail polish. Uh, this is probably one of the ones that that line was done after I'd used it a few times. I've actually used this one quite a bit. I love that nail polish. Gonna be sad when that one's gone. Um, and the other one is the Elf in Dark Navy, which is down here somewhere. I can sort of see the line like right here, but it's unlikely that you'll be able to see it because it's so dark. So that is everything so far for the blue category. In the purple category, we have... Um, now, this is another Germain de Cappuccini uh, sample. This was the eye things. I have like two of these in there. This is the day cream. This is the night cream. The day cream I've already finished up. The night cream I am still working on. It's actually more of a gel, um, nighttime gel thing, but it's supposed to be a night mask. So 
Um, I don't always remember to use it at night. Then we have all the charged up, which is basically at the top of the barcode, just there. Um, we also have Lincoln Park After Dark, which is so dark you're not going to be able to see where it is. But I have used it. Um, this is probably one of the other things with sort of the most progress on it. This is the NSI Neutral Oil. This smells like lavender, but nicely of lavender. Um, it was probably up here when I started. And I had another product that I had to finish off first before I started on this one. Um, I like this. I like the fact that it's in a dropper, but the dropper lid keeps breaking, which is really, really annoying. I have to keep on putting it back together. Um, and the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Vivid Violet. I've actually used this a couple of times, but I think I'm just going to have to dry it, throw it out because it is so dry that it doesn't, like, transfer to... Yeah, this is too dried out. I can't use this. So this is another item that is actually done because I can't actually use it. So I'm just going to make sure I mark it off so I remember that I've actually completely finished that particular item. Um, the same is pretty much going to happen with the other two mascaras that I put in. Uh, next we have the pink category. So this is the other mascara. This one is the one in pop and pink. Um, yeah, this again is, it just doesn't transfer. Like there's none on the, like there's virtually, like I just dragged that across my finger if it would focus. Oh, come on. Um, you basically can't see it. So, that's another one that's like, we're done with that one. There's not much point mucking around with it when it's not really working. I had such high hopes too. Um, another thing that has made fabulous progress. This is my satin lip cut liner in Rosewood. Um, I will just, I haven't actually marked it, so I'll just mark it for you on the paper so you can get a visual. Uh, this is generally the lip liner that I go for when I am um, doing my lips. So that's where I was at the start of the project. And that's where I am now. So, um, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy about that. I'm not necessarily good at using stuff up. Um, oh, I also forgot to show you those other nail polishes. <laughs> Because I'm just like so good at this. Okay, so that one is Moss from Revlon. Angel Rain from Orly. Uh, Charged Up from Orly. Uh, Lincoln Park After Dark. That was all of them. Um, the next one is L'Oreal's Opera Ballerina. Which is... This here, it's it's basically um, a very, very pale pink. Very, very pale pink. So that one's got some progress on it. And that, oh, the L'Oreal Basic Magic sample, I used this for the first time today. It was nice. I kind of liked it. So that is good. In the black category, we have... Harvey Prince Sincerely Perfume, which doesn't, I've used it, I promise, I've used it like four times or something, I keep forgetting to use it, um, but I have used it, it's not going very fast, but I have used it, um, nail polishes, so we have All In Blackout, which is down about there, not much to see it's black. Um, Orly Liquid Vinyl, which is about there. I have used all of these. And L'Oreal Black Swan, which is about there. I have seriously used all of them. So that one is blackout. 
that one is liquid vinyl and it is sitting next to Lincoln Park After Dark so you can see just how dark Lincoln Park After Dark is. It's only when they're like really really close to it you can see that this one has a little bit of purple and that one there is Black Swan. So that is all of the black ones. In the grey silver category, um, a surprise liking product for me is this Clarice Sea Salt Solution Rapid Detox Charcoal, Ex Charcoal Exfoliant. Uh, basically what I do is I take a little bit of this. This was completely full, like it hadn't even been opened when I started. Um, and it was full most of the way to the top. Um, I take a little bit of this and I put it into my uh, moisturiser in the shower and I exfoliate it like that because that's one of the ways it says you can use it and that works for me. So I have been using that and actually quite enjoying it. Uh, this one is a bit lower than its actual line. This is Revlon Sparkle. My daughter put this on my toes. She gave me a manicure. She painted a polish on and then she put... Uh, this over the top. This has got holographic bits in it. It's very, very pretty. I like it. And Orly Shine, which is, it's down here somewhere. My camera's being a pain today. So that is Orly Shine right there. And that is Revlon Sparkle. There's Revlon Sparkle right there. Uh, then we have another one, which is going. This is the Revel, uh, the LA Colors Bold Lash in Silver Chrome. I used this in a recent tutorial and it just did not show up at all. It's like the um, pep, uh, pink one. It's kind of like a chromey look, but it was basically invisible, which I don't have time for that shit. Um, the other ones I've used in this category are the two eyeshadows, the silver grey and the brown grey. I've used both of these, but you would not be able to tell. They're a product that until I've actually, like, hit pan on them or something, you are not going to notice at all. And the last category is the white category. Uh, in this, we have the Essie Good To Go Nail Polish uh, Top Coat, which I have used a couple of times. We also have L'Oreal Boho Look, which has little flowers in it. They're not the easiest thing to get out, but it does have little flowers in it. Um, and it's below the line that is on it, because I've used it a couple of times. And that... Right there is what it looks like. And the last item that I have used is Too Cool from Maybelline Colored Tattoo. Um, this is getting very close to me just ditching it, quite frankly. It's not my favorite and it's starting to really get too dry to work with. But I'm going to give it another month. <laughs> and if I decide, because I do use it quite a bit, if I decide that I really just can't work with it in another month, then I will lob it. It'll be gone. So that is everything that I've actually used. Uh, so that is my update for my 100 colourful empties. Again, I will link all the other people involved down below so you can go and check them out. If you want to subscribe, click the little button down there. And click the notification bell so you get notified because sometimes YouTube doesn't tell you these things. Uh, if you... <laughs> oh dear. Leave me a thumbs up if you like project, use it up type of videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.